an open letter to Sword Art Online. Yes, yes, yes. The living, breathing dumpster fire that we literally cannot get enough of for some strange, stupid, odd reason. No one knows why. No one understands. We just watch it. Some of us to see what new level of stupidity comes out of the fiery abyss that is A1 Pictures and Aniplex USA and Aniplex Japan and Ani Aniplex period. And others watch it because they genuinely enjoy the content. Yeah, I'm sure that'll hold up in court. What I am going to tell you about is just a small snippet of something that I find all the time in TV but is most prevalently stupid in Sword Art Online. Now what is that? Swords. I swear, as God is my one and only witness, literally, the people who made Sword Art Online have no fucking clue what the fuck a sword even is. Who the fuck comes up with this stupid shit? And you know, let's get into some, uh, some specific examples, because I'm starting to just ramble and rant, and I don't like that. Start with the one, the only, Jesus Kun, I mean Kirito. Yeah, this guy. This motherfucker right here goes and he plays the whole fucking game, and everyone talks about his one-handed longswords. Okay, let's 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 get educational here, motherfucker. The longsword, which first arrived on the scene in the late 11th and early 12th centuries, it's a long bar of metal that requires two hands to hold because it weighs four fucking pounds, and three of those fucking pounds are distributed in the long ass fucking blade that you need two hands to fucking swing. Do you get it? Do you fucking get it? You guy who thinks that a longsword is just a sword that's longer than another sword. Your sword isn't a longsword unless you need two hands to use that shit. I mean, sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can use one hand to swing a longsword, but the people who do that are either ridiculously strong, like Vikings or some shit, or they're just stupid and think they look cool. And then while we're still on the subject of Jesus asshole over here, why don't we talk about the stupid decision made regarding the fact that he can dual wield and that somehow makes him the most powerful fucker in the game. That's bullshit. That is literally the dumbest fucking thing imaginable. Like when he fought Heathcliff, I it was justified. Even if he was cheating and he was the guy who created the game and all this other bullshit that makes no fucking sense. He earned the win just for having a shield. Because guess what? If a guy's dual wielding two swords of equal length, he's either A, gonna end up binding his own swords together a lot, or B, gonna have a terrible time against a guy with a shield. Hmm, I wonder which one happened. Yeah. Dual wielding swords is not Jesus territory here, okay? You're not like the god of swordsmanship just because you can dual wield two swords of equal length. I mean, sure, it was done when swords got smaller and more nimble and more balanced towards the handle, but not in this time period that the game is supposed to take place in within this anime, which is also really dumb. There aren't really anyone else's weapons that we can really talk about because no one else goes around blatantly throwing around terminology that they don't understand the meaning of like a bunch of stupid people. The main culprits of this level of stupidity are super Jesus, angsty, edgy teen boy kid, super pink blacksmith who wears a fucking skirt instead of a, you know, a blacksmith's apron, Lisbeth, and super queen, I'm going to be somewhat useful in the first half of Sword Art Online, and then I'm going to com be a complete bitch for the second half of Sword Art Online, and for the first half of Sword Art Online 2, awesome. Oh my god, I cannot wait to rip into, you know, I don't have to wait, because I'm doing it right now. At what fucking point did they decide that just because it's a long skinny sword and that can be used with one hand, that it's a fucking rapier? Because, and, and here's the nice little rub on that one, a rapier does not look like that. A rapier is a long sword. It's not a long sword, but it's long. It's, you know, it's still a couple, about like, I don't know, four feet long weighs about three pounds and uh oh yeah it has a basket hilt for those of you who don't know what a basket hilt is a basket hilt is a handle on a sword which is encased in a metal cage this metal cage is used to protect the hands from outside attacks 
Something that Asuna's piece of shit swords do not have, ever. And let's talk about the sword that she's most well known for, the Lambent Light, this green piece of shit that doesn't really, I mean, yes, it's definitely a long, pointy, stabbing, centric sword, but it is certainly not, not a rapier. And this is probably one of the most plausible swords in the entire fucking game, too. So, good job. Not, not, not just in the game, in the show, because what the fuck is the deal with Super Jesus and angst kid and that giant piece of shit he was using in Alfheim online during the second half. Oh my god, that thing is way too ridiculously huge and completely unwieldy and no one would ever be able to swing a sword like that. Ever. But back to the uh, Lambent piece of shit. I mean, Lambent like, I mean, fuck it. This, this fucking thing. It is, without a doubt, the least rapierist rapier I've ever seen, because it's not a rapier. It is, by just virtue of its shape and its general composition, more like a Chinese Jian, or a Gim. Gim? Jim? Jimbo? No, no. Gim, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is not a rapier. I know what rapiers look like, alright? I'm a sword guy. I would talk more about this, but I'm starting to get a little pissed off. Now, I don't outright hate Sword Art Online. I think as far as mindless entertainment goes, it's perfectly fine. You know, you sit down, you completely forget that the world exists around you, you forget that things are supposed to be realistic and true and normal, and you just sort of collapse into a vegetative state for 20 minutes while you watch this show. That's the kind of show that it is. Yeah. Then I think for a starter anime, it's not terrible. You know, it's not the worst. But that's all water under the proverbial bridge. The point is, Sword Art Online, her swords fucking suck. And they are not at all realistic in terms of naming conventions. Some of them are actually pretty realistic in terms of physics and size and shape and the way they're... Well, that's all I got. Sincerely, Batman. P.S. Thank you guys so very much for watching Season 1 of Fat Man's Open Letters. I said Season 1, that's right. This is the last episode of 10 that I've done for you guys so far. I'm going to do another season in a couple of weeks. Um, so don't worry, I am coming back. But I need to take a break. There's some big things coming up that I have to focus on. And we just have a lot of, uh, a lot of things going on right now. A lot of business. I'm going to try and find myself an editor to help me out with some of my videos. Uh, but for the most part, it's still going to be me, so, you know. But I got some, some other plans for next season and things like that, a few uh, sort of twists on the format, see what I can do. And we'll go from there and just see what all it is I can do personally to make everything smoother and, you know easier on myself and on everyone else. I, mean, I know this is a pretty easy job already. Thanks to everyone who's already subscribed for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, now is the time. It helps us out a ton. Like, seriously, now. Do, do it. Do the thing. Put, push. It's, 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 it's the button. It's down there. Or, uh, depending on how I do this, it might be here, or here, or here, on this side, or over here. You know, just keep an eye out wherever the... It's probably going to be down there. Uh, the subscribe button, wherever that is, click on it. Uh, uh, share us to all your friends, because that's always important. Thanks for watching Season 1. Uh, I've been Fat Man, and uh, I'll see you next season. Ooh, that felt really good to say. That felt really good to say.